Hello, everybody. Bonjour. Welcome to Shepherds. We have a Facebook Live, a virtual way of connecting with you, and we thank you so much for joining us. Today, Stephanie and myself, I'm Elaine, by the way, here at Shepherds, are dishing on denim. That's right. You're going to get the true scoop on uh, some great pairs of jeans that we have recently rediscovered here at Shepherds. So we're going to focus on NYDJ and we're going to focus on NYDJ's best selling denim. And there's a reason for that. It's because we feel that everybody has a denim story in the sense that a lot of women don't like to wear denim. It's like going to buy a bathing suit. It's like cringeworthy sometimes. It's so difficult to find a pair of denim that really fits. Are you with me ladies? And please, this is supposed to be an interactive session. So wave, say a nice hello. Any questions you have on NYDJ are, would be wonderful. We would want to let you know that we've just launched a great NYDJ denim boutique that you can shop virtually here at Shepherd's. So we have sizes, I believe sizes two to sizes 22 and even 28. So a great extended size. Uh, range for you and again the most classic the best-selling pieces and we're going to show you why we agree with NYDJ and we do think that they are great fitting jean. Okay so maybe enough talk a little more styling how's that all right uh, so before I remove this blouse tell you about the jean I'm wearing wanted to show you that a lot of the pieces that we selected Stephanie and I are meant to be wear worn on a day like today, many of you are at home, many of you are working from home. So you want something that has a certain casual element to it, but has a certain style to it as well. Comfort, of course, is key. And so I went to this blouse from Foxcroft. Most of the pieces that we're showing you are available online just because, as you may know, our store at the Ottawa Train Yards is temporarily closed. Um, and so we're hoping to reopen soon. But in the meantime, again, we are uh, online is open and we're happy to connect with you today. So the Foxcroft blouse, I like it because of the stripes. I think it has a bright and cheerful feel to it. It has pockets and most importantly, it has stretch. All right, now down to denim. All right, so I will talk to you about Again, NYDJ's best-selling style, and uh, this is called the Sherry. So each one of their styles, I think, wears the name of a, uh, a, different, uh, a different lady. So the Sherry. Um, as you can see, it has a higher waist, which is what we really, really like. It has the lift and tuck technology. Now, all of the NYDJ jeans have this. So they've, they've sewn a little X here on each side, and that helps to kind of bring in the tummy a little bit. Thank you, NYDJ. There's a compression there, I can feel it, but I also feel that I can easily move and sit, okay? So this is really nice for a lot of women. Again, the higher waist, it kind of prevents extra muffin top, okay? I am wearing the size six in the sherry. So NYDJ will always say, go a size down. So if you wear a 10, wear an eight. If you have an eight or a six, well, I wanted to test the six today because I know that what happens with NYDJ is you really want it to fit in the waist. That's the smallest part of me, so that's where it's fitting. The rest will conform and kind of fit to your body with body heat with a few um, after a few hours. Wanted to say a great hello to Cassia. Cassia is our NYDJ rep. She is a specialist on NYDJ jeans. There's nothing she doesn't know. So thank you for joining us. And ladies, if you have any questions about denim in general or NYDJ, Cassia's with us to help, okay? So mention, the jean has to fit at the waist here, okay? And this is what's happening. You see how there's some stretch in it, so it's kind of coming back, okay? That's what you want here. And then a jean, has to fit here on the leg. If it doesn't fit snugly here, there's no way that you can alter this part of the jean. The length, I'm five foot nine, the length is great. Um, and this is the Cooper rinse that I'm wearing. So it's kind of a bright indigo. I will show you the other classic colors in NYBJ. So they have what they call rinse. 
And this is a dark, dark indigo, okay? Classic, you can wear this day to evening. And then, well, this is the Cooper that I'm wearing as well. And you notice the, the uh, gold stitching that runs through it. And then the black. And Stephanie's gonna be wearing a pair of black jeans later on. So the black is a true black. Intensity and color, again, is what we like about them. So these are really testimonials about our love for these jeans. Uh, maybe, uh, should I invite you, Stephanie, to come on and show your jean, and then I'll get changed into something else, okay? okay. We're keeping social distancing, so off I go. Hello, everybody. So I'm so happy to be here. I wasn't in yesterday's live, but I was in the back packing and picking and getting you your orders because our online store is still open. So as Elaine mentioned, I am wearing one of the black jeans, which is a classic dye for NYDJ. And this is the Sherry Slim. So this is not the Maryland Straight, which is straight uh, from the knee down. This is a little bit slimmer. I like it because I have a bit of a rounder calf. So this allows me a lot of room from the knee down to the ankle. I have paired it with a black boot. So I like a long lean leg because I am so short. I'm 5'2", almost 5'3", if I'm being specific. So I like a little bit of extra length. And uh, I love these jeans. I'll tell you exactly why. First, let me tell you about the top I'm wearing. Then I'll take it off and show you how the jeans fit me. So this is just the smock tunic from Gabby Isabella. It is striped at the front and it has some detailing in the back. It is a uh, more, I guess a three quarter, almost an elbow length sleeve on knee, and uh, it gives you lots of room and it's super comfortable, lots of stretch. And uh, as with NYDJ, which I'm gonna show you my bum in a second, is that uh, this top is just as beautiful coming as it is going. It's a little surprise in the back. And I'm wearing the Ziska necklace, uh, which is resin, and it is adjustable. So depending on your neckline and what your preference is, you can change it up. And of course, all of this is available on our website. If you haven't been before, it is shepherdsfashions.com. So as I take off my top, I am being very brave, everybody. First of all, you're seeing me change and I get stuck in the shirt. <laughs> but also I'm taking off my top live in front of I don't know how many people. And this is gonna be posted. So here we go. So this is the Sherry Slim Jean. Okay, and this is in the black. I'm wearing a 10, I'm usually a 12, sometimes a 14, depending on the line. So, I love how they fit here in the waist. This is where I have the most trouble. I am an inverted triangle hourglass mix. So basically what that means is I'm narrower in the hips and I'm very broad in the shoulders or broader in the shoulders. So I have a lot of trouble finding pants that fit because I have to fit my waist around my tummy and they're looser in the bum and they're looser in the hips. Okay, so here, as you can see, these are nice and fitted, and I'm not getting any digging in in the waist, which I do find with jeans. I find it difficult to find a good pair of jeans because it does, uh, they do dig in through the waist for me, so these fit very nicely. I did promise I would show you my bum because I love how I look. So Elaine was talking about the lift. She was talking about the lift technology and the jeans that NYDJ offers, and uh, so we were talking about how a lift in the bum could lift your spirits during this trying time. Ooh. So, here's my bum. Wow. <laughs> it's pretty cute. And Elaine and Marlene said it looked nice, so I have to trust them. So, <laughs> so this is it, the Sherry Slim in the black. So, I'm going to try on a couple tops for you super quick, and then we'll allow Elaine to come back on. Mm -hmm. So, here we have a Gilmore sweatshirt. This is bamboo. I'm sure you've seen this before. We've had it for a couple of seasons. But this is a new color. It's the coral color. And, of course, coral on redheads is a beautiful shade. So... It was a natural fit. So it has the tight cuff, so I usually just push it up a little bit further and then adjust it. Let's see if we go. There we go. So it's a high low. I think it looks great with the black. Covers the bum. Mm -hmm. Although my bum looks great, as I already said. So <laughs> I maybe don't want to cover it. Now, this is higher in the front. You could definitely layer this with uh, a tunic or a tank of some kind. I don't mind it with the black denim. I wouldn't necessarily do it with the uh, with a lighter denim because I am self-conscious about uh, my crotch in jeans. I mean, if I, I'm just gonna come out and say it, it's live. We all deal with camel toe. And because I have such a long rise, a lot of jeans and a lot of pants tend to ride up. So uh, in a darker wash, I don't mind. I don't feel like it's so noticeable. So here we have, to finish off the look, 
is a beautiful scarf from Love's Pure Light. I was inspired by Elaine, uh, her scarf time video yesterday. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. So Love's Pure Light is just wow. as beautiful open as it is when you tie it up. Like I said, I'm petite, so a lot of these larger scarves seem intimidating, but I'm so fortunate to work with people who have taught me the ways of tying the scarf. So just mold it. These are so malleable. The more you wear it, the softer it becomes and the easier it becomes to tie. Uh, as Elaine mentioned, I'm sure yesterday, we take it from the long way, take one of our corners and just soften it up a little bit. Put it around once. I'm doing this without a mirror. Mm -hmm. There we go. And this just ties in the black and the coral. And you can wear it close up. It's really up to you however you like to wear it. I like to wear mine just a little bit lower to open up the neckline a little bit because I'm fuller at the bust. And I like to tie my tails. Some people don't, some people do. And I find it just kind of... I love that. Thank a you. plus. Thank a you very plus. Much. And I have yeah. one more top that I want to show, which mm -hmm. is something totally out of my comfort zone. Because like I said, I don't usually wear short tops because I'm insecure about my crotch and jeans. <laughs> but again, because this is a dark, it's a dark dye. It's a black dye. I uh, thought I would give it a try. So this is a one size piece from Gilmore. Again, super soft. Uh, one size, I would say probably up to about a 14. It's not as roomy as the, Gil as the uh, French Terry sweatshirt. So what I did with this in the mirror was kind of go from basic. So that's this. So it's just straight across. It's a boxy top. What I would do, and I think it changes it, and this often happens in the fitting room, is you think it doesn't look good, but you can make some very minor changes to make it look great. So one of the things, I always pull up my sleeves to at least a three-quarter length. That gives me a lot more room here, a lot more skin and helps to balance me out because I'm a little fuller on top. Second is you're gonna add a necklace because I wanna kind of break up the expanse of bust here in this top. So here I went with some wanted jewelry, freshwater pearls. So here we go, we're creating the dominant center line or vertical line. And I learned this trick from Elaine. So here I find I'm just looking a little bit wider across the waist and I do have a smaller waist. So sometimes it's nice for me to show it off. So I'm gonna take my top and I'm gonna do a tuck, except it's a little different. So Elaine, am I okay if I go here? Can you yes, see it? that's okay, great. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this, I'm gonna do a twist. Okay, just pull it wherever, however tight you'd like it. And then I'm gonna pull it through my belt loop and I'm gonna tuck it into that little part in the pocket. And here we go. Now I've created a little bit of a different silhouette. Again, without a mirror lane. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. Let's see the back. Okay. Oh, you want to see my bum again? Yes. <laughs> oh, right. Nice, nice. Here we go. Very nice. So I'm going to go change. I'm going to put on okay. a skinny jean and Elaine's going to come back. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. So here I've styled up the same jean I, I had first on. It's the Sherry again. It's the best-selling jean from NYDJ, and we have definitely fallen in love with it. And we're thinking again today, if you're at the home, you're at, ha you know, at the house, and you just want something that's, that has a certain casual feel to it that is very colorful, so it will brighten the spirits. It's the cow neck piece, and this is in a waffle texture, and I'll come up a little closer to show you the texture and the color. And it's just a very, very nice tunic that lends itself to a denim look very well, okay? So I have one more look to show you on this. So maybe um, we'd love to know, ladies, what are your struggles with denim, if, uh, if you have any? And uh, are you denim ladies? Do you have a wardrobe of def different denim uh, looks and cuts and denim that you wear, I don't know, um, to go out or at home or, or uh, so we would love for you to dish with us on denim. So I'm going now to a top from Nelly and Millie and I really love the colors in this. Although um, spring, spring is sprung and we would typically look to soft pink colors and soft blues and so on. It's nice to see that there's still a bit of a spicy palette um, and more neutrals that can definitely go in with the jeans as well. So this is that nice little trico, very light. 
and it has a circular shape, which is really, really on trend at the moment. And it's really so wonderful, again, for women of all different body shapes. It, it, it's not too close to the midsection here. It just flows off. It's not, not too long either. So whether you're petite or taller, it will certainly work and it does have a three quarter length sleeve. On this, um, I will add a jacket. So again, we're thinking of layering here. And this is a, a piece from Habitat and it's kind of a, a French terry. So again, it's about softness, soft dressing, I, I like the, um, the zippers here. It's a soft hoodie. Okay, and it has pockets. So again, it's all about that cozy, comfy feel. And then on this, I will add one last piece. In the, and this piece is our shepherd's hug. You may have heard of it, you may own one. It's a cashmere one size topper that, my gosh, you can put over anything. And again, I like the color that I've gone to here instead of doing um, you know, a classic spring color, spring pastel. I'm going into more of the spicy tones because I like the way that it looks on my coloration. And I really, I, I think I've just jazzed up my jeans here. Um, so again, comfort is key. And then it, you can take this piece, okay, take the front like this, and you can create a petal effect. So you just take the one edge and you bring it over like this, just created a little petal. So you're seeing a little more top, okay? So different ways to wear it. And I think that Stephanie is going to uh, wear one as well in a different color. So. Off I go into my next pair of jeans. And I'm back. That was a quick change. I am, uh, yes, uh, Elaine, look, you're right. I am wearing one of the cashmere toppers, uh, as Elaine was talking about. So again, this is shown on a petite. I'm almost 5'3", so, you know, kind of treading that line, but still technically a petite. Um, and you'd think it would be too much fabric, but it's not. It's actually quite a nice silhouette for tall and petite alike. And I know Marlene has said this about a hundred times, but it is a one size from about a size zero to all the way up to about a 22. So really a great gift. We're thinking Easter is coming up. That's what I'm thinking about anyway, what I'm gonna get for my mom. So this color is Spice, which uh, Elaine was talking about the warmer tones. This is very much in line with that. It's warm, it's toasty, it's spicy, it's spice is the color. So you can go and take a look, on, uh, look at it there. And again, I put a long necklace with it just to give me that, uh, that vertical line. And I'm sorry if I'm a little distracted, Elaine is running around without pants on behind the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, here we go. so here we go. So let's take this off and I'll tell you exactly what I have underneath. So right now I'm wearing a go-to tee from Simply, which Elaine was wearing yesterday in the scarf tying video. If you missed it, it's probably below this video. So you can go ahead, just scroll down and it'll be, uh, it'll be on our Facebook page. You can take a look. She gave some really great tips. And if you have, if you want to catch up, if you're at home and you're looking for something to do, uh, you can watch all of our videos. We have tons of great styling advice. So just how to wear things, right? How to tie scarves, how to get the, the most out of your wardrobe, you know? You know, now you, what you can do and what a lot of women are doing, I'm noticing on Instagram and on YouTube and Facebook is a lot of women are going through their wardrobe. So maybe this is a perfect opportunity to go through, see what fits and play a little bit, have some fun, you know, put some things together that you'd think I would never wear that together because sometimes you could be surprised. So back to it, this is the go-to tee, classic tee, three-quarter sleeve from Simply. I'm wearing it in the navy, which I think pairs beautifully with denim. It doesn't have to. Personally, I would probably wear uh, a, a, a white one as well uh, with denim, but I only brought black underwear today, so I couldn't do a white top. So here we are in navy, which I think is just as good. So I'm gonna take this one off, um, and I'm gonna tell you about the jean that I'm wearing, which is the Aileni, Aileena. Amy, 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 thank you, Elaine. <laughs> this is the Amy Skinny Legging, and this is the Cooper Rinse. So this is kind of their mid-denim blue. I really love this. I'm always on the hunt for a great pair of skinny jeans because as I mentioned earlier, I do have a fuller calf, 
and I have a fuller tummy than hip and bum. So what that means is that I have to buy my jeans again to fit my tummy and everything else is loose. So when I wanna go for a skinny jean, I have to buy them to fit around the waist and then the legs are no longer skinnies. They're actually more like a straight. So the jean loses its feeling, uh, loses its, its or the right fit. Or if I get them as they do fit like a skinny, then they're way, way too tight in the waist and I'm so uncomfortable. So I love this, I'll show you my bum. Wow. Oh, fancy way. Oh, uh, shall we talk pocket placement? Yes, pocket mm -hmm. placement. So it's so important in a jean, and this jean is doing it, and you don't even know that it's doing it. So you may have tried on jeans before in the past, and you might say, you know, this doesn't look right, this doesn't feel right. And it could simply be, obviously it could be the fit, could be the size, but it also could be the pocket placement because some jeans put their pockets way too low and it makes you look like you have a saggy bum. Mm -hmm. um, and some of them make them too big, so it makes your bum look smaller uh, and they're not in proportion, I guess I should say. And sometimes their pockets are way too small, so it makes your bum look even bigger. So what NYDJ has done is found the perfect pocket placement and it's, it's all... Um, it's all done in proportion, so depending on the style of jean and depending on the size of jean. So my pocket is not going to be the same size as Elaine's because we're, we're, we're wearing different size jeans. So it really is, as we continue going back to, is the, the custom fit from NYDJ. So here we go. So I am going to put on this Eileen Fisher sweater because I'm thinking about being cozy. I'm thinking about, because this is a, a denim or a jean, a skinny legging almost, we can wear it like a legging. So we can put on some really nice cozy sweaters. I like this oversized look. The sleeve is oversized. It's more of a kimono type sleeve from, uh, from Eileen Fisher. I'll do a quick turn around. Very I'm trying nice. to wear, thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to wear more uh, neutral colors in my wardrobe. I wear a ton of black. I don't know if you guys watched Succession. It's a show on uh, HBO. Uh, but there's a character on there, her name is uh, Siobhan, and she has the same coloring as I do, and all she wears is cream and tan. Yes. So I'm thinking, oh, if she can do it, I can do it. So I'm trying to wear a little bit more. Right. So here we go. So this is another Let's Pure Light scarf, Silk Modell. And I know that we have shown this one before, um, but it is probably one of the most impactful scarves um, that uh, Sydney has in her collection. So for anyone who loves horses or of course means something to somebody, this is a great gift. Again, Easter's coming up and Mother's Day actually too. So again, I just take it, bring it around. And I chose this scarf because it brings in the neutral tones of the sweater, but also brings in the denim. And as I said, I usually like to tie up my, I usually like to tie it up. And here you go, you can bring it, depending on the colors that you want to pull out as well, this could be more blue, it could be warmer, it could be more in those nutmeg and spice tones, and you can really do with it what you like. And my last look is going to be something that I don't necessarily think is the most flattering for my shape, but it makes me feel on trend. So I thought I wanted to include it, include it here. And I don't know if we're getting any questions about the bodysuit that I'm wearing, but I thought I would share that this is what I would wear with denim because, again, I'm fuller in the tummy and I like to be smooth. So I don't want to have that break of a panty or, you know, some sort of underwear. So this is a bodysuit from uh, Spanx that goes all the way up and around. You just step into it and uh, has, it's almost like a shorts at the bottom. And uh, I use it in place of a cami. So... Right. Here we go. Now I'm going to wear my bowling shirt. And this one is from Ushu. Like I said, it's one of those pieces that isn't necessarily the most flattering for me and my shape. But I feel kind of funky in it. I feel cool. I feel trendy. I would, because I have short hair, I would do the collar up. And I don't know. You guys tell me. What do you think? Is it cool? Is it on trend? Do I look hip? <laughs> so we'll invite Elaine back oh, to finish you. it off. Thank you. I, I love the look. I love that jean. And I really do enjoy this jean now. This is the Barbara boot cut. And I know there were some questions about what jeans to go to, jean style for a pair. And this is what we would recommend and what Cassia recommends as well from NYDJ. So the Barbara boot cut is... Um, it, this one is, I should talk about the rinse first because color is so important, right? So this is called rinse and it is the deep, deep indigo. 
So first off, in terms of color, it is a slimming color. And um, I like, again, that it fits at the waist. The boot cut is not a high-waisted jean, typically. Classic, the classic boot cut. It is supposed to, again, fit the top of the leg here down to the knee and then at the knee it relaxes a little bit and falls into a soft a-line i call this a baby boot cut but i keep forgetting that there's a difference between a boot cut and a flare a flare really does come out in a quite a, a, a more significant more dramatic way this is what we call a baby boot cut so everything should be again fairly close to the body hugging the body and again remember that there's a compression element here so when you put these on you want them to feel snug as a hug and then they will release a little bit as you wear them okay what i would say having tried and tested the jeans i was in the size six in the first sherry jean i'm now in the size 10. so i would absolutely heavily rely on our size chart which is our on our online store at shepherdsfashions.com because there may be a little bit of a, a switch a change would you agree cassia from nybj depending on the style that you go to okay i'll show you the back so the yoke and the pockets here are working in tandem to kind of slim the expanse of, uh, of the derriere. Okay. But I, would you agree, I think the rear view is kind of good. I'll tell you, it feels really good, which again is why we're so happy to bring you this presentation. Now, what have I done with this blouse? This is an Eileen Fisher silk blouse. Nowadays, this is how a lot of women would wear it with a jean. Elaine, sorry to yes. interrupt. Anna would like to know what the best shape is for an hourglass. For a jean. For an hourglass. Well, again, for an hourglass, you want a jean that really fits at the waist, right? Because it's the smallest part of you. So you could absolutely go to uh, the jean that um, Madame Stephanie just had, which is the Amy legging. You, you kind of have different avenues that you can take. I think the Barber boot cut. I'm an, I'm a personally an hourglass but I do have you know a fullness here at the hip so I think the boot cut is really good because it balances out a smaller uh, waist as well you could do the Maryland straight because again with NYDJ it all conforms to your waist so it has to start by fitting at the waist is how NYDJ describes it right and then again the rest will conform I hope that helps all right, so I do feel that these jeans are available in all of the different no, colors. No, the boot cut's only in the rinse. Oh, thank you. So the barber boot cut is only in the rinse, which again is this dark indigo. Back to my blouse. So Eileen Fisher, silk and denim. What a fabulous pairing. And I've done this blue zone style. So you tuck it into your jean and then you're gonna blue zone it out a little bit. So if there's a little bit of tummy here, you, you kind of, place it over the tummy so it makes the tummy look a little slimmer how's that for a nice little tip and again in terms of color you put the brighter color close to your face it minimizes the hip line okay i have two other quick looks to show you ladies are you enjoying our facebook live presentations and what would you like us to bring you we uh, we are so enjoying doing these they really break up the day it's it's not uh, such a, a trying time for everyone um, so we're, we're so happy that you join us that you support us as a small business um, you know heartfelt and I don't want to cry so I won't go on but you know please accept our, our major major thank you so I've gone now to a habitat piece we have just received habitat please do have a look online shepherdsfashions.com you will see all of our habitat collection and what we like about this habitat's tagline is clothes to live in and this is absolutely true so you're looking at kind of a cotton field base here machine washable easy wear the uh the neckline has a little metal wire so again this piece will stand up lovely pretty enamel buttons okay and then on to nick and zoe okay and now I'm going to show you something. So I'm going, you know, I'm not really going to something form fitting here. I will now with my next piece. And again, we're thinking um, this time of year, many of us are looking for a knit, a nice knit, something that's 
not too heavy, has a bit of lightness, light weightedness to it. And so I thought I would show you this one, okay? So again, definitely denim friendly. And uh, so the colors are really, really pretty. There's a little speck of black in this. I'm gonna come up closer to show you, okay? So you see how it's fitted, it's not too long. But so this is great, a great little tip in terms of fit as well with the boot cut. Again, you're keeping the color, the print, the party as we call it on top. Keep to something a little more slimming on the bottom if you are a pair or, I mean, you don't have to be a pair though, I have to say, to wear the Barbara. They work on so many different shapes. Elaine, did we talk about the size range that NYDJ is available in? Uh, yes, the size range that we have online goes from size two to size 28. Double zero to 28. Du double zero to size 28. Mm -hmm. um, and so we are so happy. We, we're just launching the NYDJ Boutique online. It's an online exclusive. And um, we, did you know also we're offering free shipping in Canada for a limited time. So now's the time to venture out and try that denim. All right, so I'm adding the reader's wrap. I wish I had Kathy Donovan's book here to put here. I think Kathy has joined us. Hi, Kathy from Shepherds. Um, this is a cotton piece. It's a feel-good piece. So you just put it on, or you can you can just kind of squeak it like this. And so this whole idea again is to do something that's casual, easy wear. Okay. Oh, and then one. I'm sorry. One last piece, and I think. This one is kind of fun and it's different again. So it's a different way to wear your jean. So this is a piece from Wraps. And we're thinking here, maybe you're having a date night at home at some point, okay? And you want something that's just a little fun and jazzy. And so this is a piece that was originally created as a bathing suit cover up, but uh, then, I mean, there's so many different ways and reasons to wear this. So you can wear it squared off like this. Again, the colors really relate to denim, don't they? Or you can do an asymmetrical like this with the point in the front. Then I'm going to take this. This is a piece that we sell separately, $10 for this. The wraps is, is a great price point as well. Okay, and you're gonna just take one edge, place it through like that and just adjust it to fit your silhouette. I want to showcase a little bit of waist here. The more leg I'm showing here, the longer the leg is going to look as well. So another great uh, silhouette trick. And there we go, I'm ready for dinner. <laughs> so on that note, um, this concludes our Facebook Live here at Shepherds for today. We would love to keep them coming for you. And again, you can shop all of the looks uh, at shepherdsfashions.com on our online store and again we so appreciate your support uh, for us and we'll see you at the ideas. next do you have any ideas as well on what you would like us to showcase on our next Facebook live events so thank you and have a wonderful day <laughs>